I'm out to try and capture some images in a local rainforest. Why not come with me and see what we can find? You can hear me above the roar of the water. Well, good afternoon, and you found me out again. And having uh, last time been trying to work out things about woodland photography, which I quite enjoyed, I thought I'd come out into the woods again. And I come into it's again, it's relatively close to home. It's called Johnny Wood, and it is an area of scientific significant scientific interest i think is the the correct term and it's what we call a temperate rainforest so that should be quite good and the other thing i'd seen a couple of images recently of what you'd call intimate landscape where you're really zooming in on some aspect of of the area and that inspired me so hopefully we can maybe get some some images like that as well so so that's the idea to to get some woodland and intimate images in the local rainforest uh, the other thing i want to do is to thank everybody who has subscribed and great it is greatly appreciated as are those who have commented and liked etc and even those that are viewed. But as I left home today, we actually reached 751 subscribers, so past my target of 750. And obviously, we're, I want to carry on. And our next target is a um, thousand. But it's brilliant to have 750. So. Mind you, a thousand. <laughs> Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? So, yeah. So thank you again to everybody who's subscribed. And hopefully we can grow even more. So, we'll leave it there and we'll see you a little later. Right. Well, we've come up with our first composition and we're not very far into the wood, but as you can see, if I go around, the bracken is starting to, to die back. Some of it's still green and others are extremely brown. And what caught my eye, and hopefully I can um, show you it, if we just come near to the It's, um, there's just a bit of a leaf there or leaves or whatever you call it that are just starting to go brown and the red rest are green and then behind it you've got a, a lot of definitely brown leaves and I was just trying to catch the I don't think this camera does it just it's just trying to catch that uh, just showing that we're getting to autumn and the colors are starting to change i was going to show the back of the uh, the camera but i know i don't know whether what we can i don't know whether you can see that or not it, it's very difficult because it, uh, it, it's glaring off off the camera so yeah but i think i think that's quite a, i quite like that uh and that's what i mean by into it just zooming right in rather than getting the um the grand vista which may even be a whole tree but yeah i mean i'm hoping as we get into this we'll find the areas where it is more akin to rainforest with a lot of moss 
and that on on the walls etc have have been here once before when i was going up um I can't, i'm thinking what the call is it called dote dote fell great dote or something I'll, I'll put the name up um i think I'd, i might have done a video then and I, I did take some images but this is specifically to look around the woodland so yeah we'll put that one up see what you think of it and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come up with another composition. Uh, the path we were on before where we took the, it ca captured the image of the fern, that took us out of the woods, but we've managed to find a path coming back through. And as I was coming through, I spotted this boulder, a moss colored, covered boulder. And I thought it was, might add some foreground interest. So you can see the camera's there so what we've done is I'll bring the uh, so we've sort of centered breaking all the rules the the boulder and then just trying to capture some of the the trees and the bracken behind I and mean, I can show you the back of the camera as it's set up at the moment and we're on 5.600 ISO and 20th of a second so yeah I mean I think I think it's quite a nice image I've maybe overexposed it a little bit not not that it's blown out but maybe just needs darkening down a bit so yeah I mean I took some sort of at this level and then I have hired the um, the camera up and taking them at a higher level so not quite sure which one's best but rather than just doing my standard f11 I mean I've worked that one out this one out I've done 5.6 so I've got the boulder is in focus and the bracken behind it and the tree trunks behind but certainly like I, mean, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it some of the the greenery and the walls on the fields behind they're certainly slightly out of focus but that, that's the idea just to get the main items in focus Follow, following last week's video where we talked specifically about f-stops etc but with this one with in a sense wanting both the boulder and the trees just behind in focus I did a 5.6 now I'm actually using my wide angle lens and that'll only go down to f4 I'm not quite sure how that would be but if I'd got the other lens on and gone to 2.8 I would have struggled I think to get everything that I wanted in focus in focus but if I go up to f f11 and then maybe starting to get things in focus that want slightly out of focus so yeah we'll see how that is we'll put it up on the video after this and we'll carry on and see what else we can find so yeah we'll see you a little bit later
Right, well we've made it to this wall that had been to before and I thought I wasn't going to find. I thought the, the path that I was on was going to lead out of the wood but it did actually come to this wall and you can see the wall goes down there and I don't know whether if I zoom in you'll see it sort of snakes round that way. So the composition I've come up with here we zoom back out you'll see there we've got the camera it's, it's up quite high and I have tried various uh, settings I had my 24 to 70 on at, at 24 and it just didn't seem right I tried it at 70 and it was still a bit I don't know it was reasonable well we'll have to compare when we get home I mean, I can show you the back of the camera as I was taking that one. And if memory serves me correctly, it's F11, 100 ISO and half a second. Because what we're wanting to do is get everything in focus. But, I mean, we might be able to do something in post just to sort of highlight the wall a bit so you can see the wall a bit more. But now I've got the, the, the 70 to 200 and I've got it uh, not quite fully zoomed in can't actually see because <laughs> it's up above me there i haven't quite got it but it's probably at 150 or, or even more but not quite to 200 and just focusing in on the the, the far bit of the wall so i mean that's what i've come up with and hopefully it'll be quite nice and the other thing i did spot as i was about to walk through the um the gap in the wall and then I don't know whether you can see it there, let's just come down a bit there's that I'm assuming it's an acorn and some leaves surrounded by moss so I have captured an image of that with the yeah the 24 to 70 more or less zoomed right in and fairly close but it managed to focus all right so so that's something a bit different that's definitely an intimate image so what, what we need to decide is what we're going to do now i mean time is as always i always say this time's marching on so yeah i might just have a quick look around here before i move on to see if i can come up with any other compositions nothing's um grabbing me at the moment i'll have a look at the map and then we'll work out a way to carry on through the the wood and then get back to the van but those two images whichever's the best of them or two compositions we'll put them up on the video and we'll see you a little bit later <laughs> I think we've come to what is probably our last 
composition and this is a handheld one. As you can see there's this tree, fallen tree and going up to the what would have been the branches etc up there. It's interesting although it's not really going to impact on the image. You can see there that there is actual bits look as though they're possibly growing so maybe it's not totally dead maybe it is going to grow on the branch there I don't know whether you can see it but but the composition was to get quite low difficult to get the tripod that's why I've done it handheld and a similar composition to what you can see there so yeah it'll be interesting to see what it looks like when I get it on the computer and process it so I think that's probably going to be the last one because we're going down towards the river now once we get there uh, we're really out of the wood but if anything crops up in the meantime I don't know we'll, we'll have to wait and see but yeah we'll put that image up and we'll see you a bit later Right, well we're out of the wood now on the path that sort of runs, skirts around the bottom and will take us back to the car park at, at Seatoller, that's where we park the National Trust car park. Well, what I meant to say, particularly when we're at the wall, about what we can see it on this wall here, the moss, if we just come a bit closer we can see there the moss and that's what you get all this moss and that's why what makes it um, a temperate rainforest without the amount of rain in that the moss wouldn't grow and it's everywhere I and mean, we can see some there on these rocks and if we look up to the tree there the tree trunk have got moss on the tree trunk and on some trees it's on on the branches so that is one of the um, things you see in a, a temperate rainforest. So yeah, well, we're just going to flip this round, hopefully, yeah. And so yeah, I think it's been a good afternoon. We've got some different images, uh, not your typical woodland thing. There's a, f a few more intimate and and trying to pick up on things that I've seen, like the wall, the mossy wall disappearing into the distance. Hopefully we've got that. Uh, and that acorn on the moss. I think that should look quite good, actually. I'm quite, quite pleased with that one. So, yeah, it's been a good afternoon, and it's starting to... I mean, we're less than an hour away, I think, from, from sunset now. So we're just going to, as I say just going to follow this path round to the van, head home and make ourselves some tea. So yeah, again I just want to, well a few things, I want to remind people if you've enjoyed the video please click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you like what I'm doing it is very great help to the channel to help it, other people see it and it to grow if you would subscribe it's free you, you don't have to click necessary on the notification so you get a notification every time I I put them out but if in, you go to your um, subscribed page on the um, on YouTube that just list videos or channels that you subscribe to will certainly come up there so yeah so that's um, would be great and please comment all comments are much appreciated yeah it's um, 
it helps direct the channel when people um, put up comments about what is good, bad, indifferent, etc. So, yeah. Right, we're not quite sure what's going to happen here because we seem to be coming into um, a bit of a <laughs> football match. So, anyway, but yeah so there is that and thank you for all those that have subscribed and got me to 750,000 subscriptions that that is really much appreciated and hopefully that will help the channel grow even better so yeah i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do next this is monday obviously we'll try and get the this will get this sorted and whatever to go up on on Sunday and that's so uh, yeah we'll do that but hopefully get out at the weekend I'm not quite sure where and to do what but we'll we'll see how that goes so anyway I think I've I've rambled enough there we're going past the this youth hostel place and we'll carry on and we'll see you on the next video